it might uh, sound naive. Uh, I came to development because I believe this is part of the duty of anyone who has something to bring to the table. And, and I really joined your NDP because for me it was really personalizing somehow the core values I'm committed to. In development, there's a lot of information floating around, either theories or data. And there's a lot of things that you kind of know and it's all in the back of your mind. And I found that actually the bigger challenge is, is really filtering out and saying actually you can drill it down to this one specific thing that really leads to many other powerful things. Statistics are important of providing the ammunition that helps to make some of those arguments against those that are uh, uh, a priori against and so it, it, it allows to win some arguments. And because it's about accountability and transparency, uh, it's not enough to just generate the metrics, but we have to make sure that they're translated into a language uh, which people can understand and, and will actually you know, make a difference somewhere at the end of the day. We are in a different world from what we were before. And when we try to imagine five years from now, uh, we are going to be in, in a world where the actors, the people, everybody is going to have much more access to information and capacity to communicate, but that also has its uh, own dangers, including that of having an absolute cacophony uh, where nobody understands each other. So the, the whole thing about making sense uh, becomes very essential. When we work with self-mobilizing communities, then how do we uh, balance um, how far we come through to communities. Because sometimes then self-mobilizing communities have an agenda that they're pushing. And sometimes then how do we protect them from um, organizations or agencies that want to support them and drive their agendas within those movements? How do we ask development actors to listen to the non? If we're going to be innovative, we're going to fail. Right? We talked a lot about how the private sector will take 90%, their R&D de department will be happy if 10% of what they do is actually successful and 90% fails. That's actually fine in the private sector context. The idea is that you cover one eye and you turn the dial and it comes into focus and you cover the other eye, turn and it gets into focus. So with that, what I did was just gave myself an eye test and now I can see clearly. You know, I think there's sometimes a, a mistaken belief that philanthropists have, have, that they are the motive force for change. Actually, change doesn't come from beautiful chapels and boardrooms like this. It comes from the streets. It's very interesting for me because last week I was at the G20 in Cannes, where you really do have uh, the, the traditional players around that table, all 20 of them. Plus, plus a few others. And here you have a collection of government, civil society, foundations, uh, beneficiary groups, uh, some private sector. It's a different grouping, but both groupings are searching for solutions around the same thing. I think the actually even a more important point is uh, the question of trust. Um, which to me, if, if I had to walk away and say, you know, you only have one word or something that's what's the barrier or the opportunity, it would be around that word. I've heard a lot about people's perceptions of philanthropy and foundations. Uh, some of it I've heard before, some of it's new. And I think we need to be just a little bit more conscious about all of the, you know, there was a word used in the last breakout session that I like, all the different touch points that we have. Where you, where you live and where you, where you work, uh, it generates a certain perspective uh, on, on, on issues. And it's important to bring those different positions and different perspectives together um, in one, to get one whole picture of a very complex set of issues. There's so much to do and there are not enough resources, not enough people and not enough ideas. So actually if we can work together we might get a lot more value for money. We are not giving charity but we are trying to establish a relationship and just like with business you cannot succeed fully without becoming friends with the people you are going to do business with. I believe that bringing a diverse group to something that they see as a common ground is, is the most inspiring thing for me.